Imagine if a battery can run for more than 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. That too without being affected by cold, heat, or rough roads. This is not a dream. This is the reality of Toyota's new solid-state battery, which has created a stir in the entire EV industry. On one hand, Elon Musk and Tesla were making claims about their 4,680 cells, while on the other hand, Toyota was quietly writing history. Now when its prototype came in front of everyone, Elon Musk himself was surprised because Tesla's 4,680 battery is nowhere in front of this technology. This is not just a battery. It is a revolution that can solve all three major issues of EV like range, charging time, and battery life in one go. Is this the end of Tesla's dominance? Will Elon Musk have to change his plans now? And is Toyota really going to become the new king of the EV world? The answer is yes. But it is very important to know the story and technology behind it. So let's move ahead in the video. But before that do subscribe to the channel so that you get the fastest and most accurate information on technology first. Before we get to know about Toyota's game-changing battery, let's take a look at Toyota's current EV market because the company that was once considered the king of petrol diesel cars is now showing its prowess in the world of electric vehicles as well. Yes, this is the same Toyota that first started the trend of hybrid vehicles with a Prius. But now it is also rapidly catching up in the race of EVs, i.e. fully electric cars. In 2023, Toyota sold around 1.5 lakh fully electric vehicles globally, which is about four times more than its EV sales of the previous year. While earlier the company's focus was mostly on hybrid technology, now it is rapidly shifting to full electric platforms. The special thing is that Toyota is no longer just making its own EVs, but it is also launching high-end EVs through its luxury brand Lexus, such as the Lexus RZ and UX300e. Toyota says it is targeting to sell more than 1.5 million EVs every year by 2026. And to achieve this, the company has taken several major steps like building separate EV factories in Japan, the US, and Europe focusing on solid-state batteries and developing a new EV platform that it is launching under the name BZD Beyond Zero. Toyota is constantly improving when it comes to EV batteries. While earlier Toyota's batteries were a bit behind other companies, now new generation lithium and solid-state batteries are becoming the company's biggest strength. Toyota's battery research division is now active not only in Japan but also in the US and Germany. The company has publicly said that it will start mass production with solid-state batteries by 2027 or 2028. The most interesting thing about this new journey of Toyota is that while other companies have either got tired or are retreating after entering the EV market, Toyota is now entering quietly but is going to make a big bang in terms of both technology and scalability. What is a solid-state battery? Now that everyone is talking about EVs, you must have heard one name solid-state battery. But the real question is what is this solid-state battery and why is there so much commotion about it? Let us understand it in very simple language. Look, most of the electric vehicles running today use lithium-ion batteries. These batteries have been in vogue for the last several years and are used in everything from smartphones to laptops, scooters, and cars. But there is a big weakness in them. These batteries are a little fragile from inside. Why? Because they contain liquid electrolyte. This is a liquid that carries lithium ions from one electrode to another inside the battery. Now when this liquid gets heated for some reason, leaks or comes under high pressure, the battery may explode, catch fire or get damaged. You must have heard in the news many times the battery in an EV exploded or the phone was on charging and burned. At the root of this are these old liquid-based batteries. Solid-state battery is a very simple and sure solution to this problem. In this new technology, Solid material is used inside the battery instead of liquid electrolyte. That is, the thing that moves the ions around inside is no longer a liquid but a solid thing like a special kind of ceramic, polymer, or solid material like glass. Now, what is its advantage? The first and biggest advantage safety. The risk of fire or explosion in a solid state battery is almost eliminated because there is no liquid in it. There will be no leak. No reaction will spread rapidly and the battery can withstand high temperature. That is it is considered a completely explosion-proof and ultrafe battery. The second big advantage, the energy density of the battery. This means how far the battery can run on a single charge. Solid-state batteries store energy better, 
meaning the car can travel 1,000 miles, 1,600 plus km on a single charge instead of 400 to 500 kilometers. And the charging time that too is very less. New solid state batteries can be fully charged in 10 to 15 minutes. Third advantage, battery life. Usually, lithium ion batteries start to weaken after 1, 0, 0 to 1,500 charge cycles, but solid state batteries can last for thousands of cycles without losing performance. This means that an EV fitted with a solid state battery will run for years without needing to replace the battery. Fourth advantage, environment friendly. These batteries are more durable. Recycling is easy, and the materials used in them are also considered more sustainable in modern times. Now the question arises, what is the problem in this or why are they not being installed everywhere yet? Actually making solid state batteries is currently very expensive and technically a bit difficult. Their manufacturing process is new. Special material is required and making them in large quantities is still a challenge for companies. But big companies like Toyota, Samsung, Quantum Cape are now working fast on this. Toyota has claimed that by 2027 to 2028, it will launch such batteries in the market which will give a range of 1,000 miles and will be fully charged in 10 minutes. If this happens, then a new revolution will come in the EV industry. Now, you must be wondering why a company like Tesla is not moving to solid state. Actually, Elon Musk himself had said that solid state is a very complex technology and currently his team is focusing on 4,680 cells. But since Toyota and other companies have accelerated work on solid state, now the pressure on Tesla has also increased. Tesla's 4,680 battery versus Toyota solid state. When it comes to electric cars, the first question that comes to mind is how powerful is the battery? How far will it run? How quickly will it charge? And most importantly, how many years will it last? To answer all these questions, Tesla introduced its 4,680 battery a few years ago, which was considered a big step in EV battery technology. The name 4,680 was given because the diameter of the cell is 46 millimeters and length is 80 millimeters. This battery was bigger than before, gave more power and Tesla claimed that due to this, the range of the vehicle will also increase and the production cost will also be reduced. It used a technology called tableless design which makes the current flow faster and less heat is generated. Tesla has started implementing it slowly in its vehicles like Cybertruck Model Y. But now that Toyota is bringing its solid state battery, it seems that Tesla's 4680 technology is becoming outdated. The entire EV industry is surprised to see Toyota's solid-state battery because its range is about 1,000 miles, i.e. up to 1,600 kilometers. And the charging time is just 10 minutes. That means one can travel from Delhi to Mumbai and even a little further on a single charge. That too without stopping and the hassle of charging again and again. On the other hand, Tesla's 4,680 battery still gives a range of about 600 to 700 kilometers and takes 25 to 30 minutes to charge. That too with a fast charger. The most special thing about solid state battery is that it does not contain liquid electrolyte due to which incidents like fire or overheating do not occur. Tesla's 4680 still has liquid based electrolyte due to which the safety risk is not completely eliminated. Now talking about the battery life, Toyota's solid-state battery does not show any drop in performance even after thousands of charging cycles, while the performance of 4,680 batteries starts falling a little with time. Apart from this, solid-state batteries give the same efficiency in every weather, whether it is minus 20 degrees snowfall or 50 degrees heat. On the other hand, 4,680 cells need protection in very cold or very hot places, which can affect the long-term performance of the battery. In fact, Tesla's 4,680 battery was quite innovative for that time. But now when brands like Toyota are moving towards practical success in solid-state technology, it can be a warning bell for Tesla. Elon Musk himself has considered solid-state to be very difficult and complex, so he has not paid much attention to it till now. But if by 2027 Toyota brings its solid-state battery into mass production and sells vehicles at the same price as today's EVs, then Tesla's technology will be considered old. As of today, Toyota's battery seems to be better than Tesla's 4,680 in every aspect. Range, charging speed, safety, durability, and efficiency. 
In such a situation, the biggest question now is whether Tesla is getting left behind. The EV market is changing rapidly, and to survive in it, not just the name or brand, but constant updates in technology are also necessary. If Tesla does not introduce any new battery innovation in time, then companies like Toyota with solid-state batteries can overtake it. Now, it will be interesting to see what steps Elon Musk takes next. Will he start working on solid state or will he bring some completely new technology that changes the game again? But one thing is certain in this battery race. Whoever comes first with fast, safe and cheap technology will become the next king of the EV world. Big revolution in EV industry. Then like the video and subscribe to the channel now so that the future does not remain one step behind.